Hey everyone, in this video, we'll discuss about that how we can implement binary tree. Let's start. So we can implement binary tree using two types. The first one is using array and the second one is using linked list. So there is a benefit of using linked list over array because in linked list we can allocate the node in runtime. In this series we will mostly implement the thing using linked list but in this video we will see that how we can implement using array. So you can see that we have taken an array of size 7. The size of the array is 7 and we have constructed one binary tree. So this is a complete binary tree. So why I am saying complete binary tree? All the levels are perfectly filled. So that is why it's a complete binary tree. Now we'll see that how we can insert these elements into the array. So how we can insert the elements here. So what is the logic? So this is the zeroth node 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So these are the index number. So we have to put this node at the given index. So how we can put that? So for that we have a formula. So what is that formula? So if a node is at index i, then its left child will be at i into 2 plus 1 and its right child will be at i into 2 plus 2. So at first what we'll do, we'll insert a root node at this position that is 0. Now, what is the value of i? The value of i is 0. So, if we are trying to insert 22, then why do we have to insert? So, 0 into 2, 0 plus 1, 1. So, we will insert 22 at the first position that is 1. Now, let's say that we'll insert 33. Now, why do we'll insert? We'll insert that at 2 into i that is 0 plus 2 that is 2. So here we have inserted 36. Now we will see that how we can insert 44 and 55. So for inserting 44 what is the value of its parent that is i equals to 1. So what will be the left child it will be 1 into 2 2 plus 1 3. So the 44 will go at the third index. So 44 is at the third index. Now if we are trying to insert 55, then what will happen? So the value of i is 1, 1 into 2, 2 plus 2, 4. So we will insert 55 at the fourth position. Now let's say that we will insert 66 and 77. So what is the value of i now? So what is the value of its parent node? So the value of its parent node is 2. Now we will check that where we will insert 66. So 2 into 2, 4, 4 plus 1, 5. So we will insert 66 here. Now, now we'll see that why we'll insert 77. So we'll insert 77 at 2 into 2, 4, 4 plus 2, 6. So we'll insert 77 at the sixth position. So this is how we can insert any element in a binary tree which is implemented using array. But there are some drawbacks. So the main drawback of implementing tree using array is the wastage of memory. Let's say that we don't have this values in a tree. So this memory will be wasted. So this is the drawback of implementing tree using array. So that is why we will use linked list for implementing tree. So if you are trying to implement tree using array, you have to remember this formula. So I think this portion is clear. If you have any doubt, just write in the comment section. See you in the next video.